Welcome back, frenemies. Uh, what is going on on my right? It's episode 80, our week three rankings here. And uh, Sean, uh, I guess you, you still like playing fantasy football? Yeah? No? Can't really tell what's going on over can't here. can't talk with this, but if you want to explain it to them. Anyways, Sean <laughs> is winless. Really straight up winless. And last place currently three weeks into our fantasy league. And... Uh, he had to go Detroit Lions fans, you know, type thing Cleveland Browns fans do. They put the paper bag over their heads. They are just embarrassed of what's being done on the field, aka for well, for us on our screens on Sleeper. And Sean, so many narrow losses for you, man. It's not like you're just getting blown out of the water here, but you can't win one. Dude, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I've never seen you go in this type of streak all the way down to the bottom. Can't win one at all. Yeah, it just... Ugh. So for those of you who weren't on YouTube, you need to go look at what I created, this bag, that I'm pretty sure we're going to reuse this now for anybody who needs to be shamed on the podcast. Oh, I like it. I yeah. guess we could all worn bags. You could have worn one for Minshew. And yes, I could have worn one for Minshew. Yeah, it's it's been rough, guys. I know... You guys are in our league who are watching it from our league and know my team. It feels amazing. I get trade offers all the time. I have Jonathan Taylor, D- Dalvin Cook, uh, David Montgomery, James Robinson, Morgan. Who? Th- yeah, just a little shout out to Morgan. He thinks that James Robinson should be a top five running back this year. So oh, I, I'll be hitting I, you up for some I like trades. That. I like that. You hit me up too. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we can get Morgan to trade. That That's a miracle. I'll let that happen. You know, and even try to say, no, we'll offer more. Morgan trades, I'm taking it. But let's talk about our week three rankings. I think we wanted to bring this up three weeks in. It's still early, but we kind of get a benchmark three weeks into the league or into the season, and we get to see where our local league, 12-team league, and how it's shaking out. All right, but you know what? Let's start from the bottom and go up. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Still here. Yeah, still there. Still <laughs> down there. Uh, but I'm going to join the two here, uh, Sean and LaRoyce. Down at the bottom. I mean, at least I have a good man sitting down there yeah. with me. That's what I got yeah. to say. And poor Leroy, he's down there scoring 347. That should put him at least in the middle of the league. Yep. But his matchups are, are hurting him. He's he's point five. He and three. We get the half wins for top half of scoring in our league. So that's what why we have a little different ranking system. So you guys are down there. Leroy is trying to trade everybody and their mother to get some better positioning. Uh, then we go up and we see Daniel. And Orion, mm-hmm. uh, with one win mm-hmm. apiece, mm-hmm. two losses, mm-hmm. kind of tough there. Everyone, Daniel likes. and Ron, you guys always you're, you're always yeah. good buddies, aren't you? Yeah, and that's <laughs> he has your back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, and uh, points. I feel like Ryan feels the same as me this week. Yeah, it's and, just and who did Daniel lose to? He lost to his brother, right? It was the Battle of Kalanas, and, and he lost if I if I remember right. So an, yep. a little bit of a narrow narrow loss there. One. Well, well nope. that was you. My Six bad. point. Six point. <laughs> um, but Daniel, I think I think I see things coming up for you. All right, uh, Andy, Soul Juice sitting at eight, and let's just park on Soul Juice there. He had a great week. Had a really good week there. He did. Who did he beat this week? Yeah, he, he beat Joe. Beat Joe, who's usually way up it's there. Kind of might have something to do with Christian McCaffrey being out. No. Actually, yeah. Mike Davis filled in pretty nicely. He filled in very nicely. And, and I don't know if did he did he end up with Mike Davis? Yeah, he did. Yeah, and he spent up on him. I want to actually, you know, Tyler Lockett. I mean, did phenomenal. Yeah. It was a difference maker for Andy's team. Yep that that definitely killed Joe. Oh, I see what hurt so bad. Morgan beat you with a player out. He beat. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We can bring that up oh, too. I deserve oh, all the shame go, my go way. Go back down in number twelve. I was wondering why that go was th- bothering you so much. <laughs> I forgot. I just to look remembered. That up. Yeah, I'm sorry, Thursday dude. night. Yeah, I'm glad. Thanks for reminding the league there, Ryan. <laughs> I thought I skated s- by without point. this in the chat. <laughs> oh, but this shame is my him. okay. So here's my shame justification him. to where I feel like it's okay. One, I, Julio Jones was injured. I did the correct thing and I took him out of my lineup. And who did I put in there? Deontay Johnson, who got point nine because he got a concussion in the first quarter. So I feel like it was an even playing field there going you, on. Yeah. Here. Okay. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going from eight. I'm going to seven. Uh, this is a name we usually see in the top three spot almost every week. And it's uh, it's our boy, Phil. What is going on, Phil? You're uh, sitting at the seven fine. spot. The yeah. power of Kamara was not enough. He'll be fine. Oh, Kamara did a ton there, but going up against 
Uh, well, I'm in week four. Let me go back to week Felipe three. Felipe is going to be just fine. You know, Mike Mike had to send a little thank you. Uh, he scored probably the most points he'll score pretty much all season <laughs> against <laughs> Confidence there. in your brother there. Yeah, well, Russell Wilson's all world. 36.8 points. That's ridiculous. Kamara gave him 38 for Phil, and the rest of the team just did not show up. Two points for Hollywood, three points for Andrews, three points for Russell Gage. Uh, Butker couldn't make field goals. Like it was really bad for Phil this week, sitting at the seventh spot. But let's go to the contenders. All right, who's up there in rankings? Uh, six and five. We got Morgan and Mike, guys. We don't usually see in the playoff positioning. Yeah, and uh, so happy, Morgan. You better not, man. Yeah, do it for me. Be, that better be the last time you have somebody in your starting lineup. I'm gonna who's out. I'm Pay gonna attention. tell you what I tell myself when the Patriots beat us. What go win the Super Bowl so that you know. The, makes, we lost to you because you were the Super Bowl champs. Yes. So go win the Super Bowl, Morgan. There we go. I don't. I, I still want to. Because it's not it's looking year, like I'm dude. going to. It's your year. You drafted well. Stick yeah. to it, man. So Morgan with that one point victory. Don't stick to it. I want to trade with you. You want James Robinson? <laughs> <laughs> going at six. I'd take him. See what he gets for. Mike, Russell Wilson is going to get you in the playoffs. You'll be fine. Uh, then I'm at four. Moving up. I'm two and one there. I, Beat the guy to my sucked. left. For this frenemies uh, moment. Darn you. Darn me. Darn we Patty Mahomes. Rename your team to the Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, well, <laughs> keeping it at Kalana's nightmare because I got David Kalana this week, so I'm going to be Kalana's worst nightmare. Okay. Uh, worked for you this past week. It did. It sure did. We'll see what happens if so frust- Mahomes so, doesn't score 40 points. In a fantasy context, he's so frustrating. <laughs> Why? He's so frustrating. What? He comes into this league and he's like, duh, 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 duh. win, win, win. How many, how many have you he's won? He's three. Just three. three. Just yes. three. Just three. Just three. Out of how many years have you been in the league? Four? Five. Five? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Looking for number four. He's not keeping track. Not keeping track at all. It's not written on right the wall. Right now, you and Tim are the most annoying because <laughs> you're just like, I mean, Tim's like, oh, my downward slide has begun. <laughs> yeah. It's over. <laughs> well, let's go, let's go to Joe first before we talk about yeah. Dr. James there. Joe, uh, tough week. Going against, uh, wait, didn't he? He up played Soul that Juice. W. He play, okay, he played Soul Juice there. Uh, but the pick of a Mike Davis did pretty well, but it's never going to fulfill a complete Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, I mean, he was hurt by, uh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong game here. I was going to say, he was like hurt by Kenyon Drake. That's Morgan's game. We don't know how to operate the sleeper app while we're recording this podcast, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> we're just we're having a tough life. time finding it. I usually try to go split, but then it makes the words really small. Uh, but yeah, play uh, Chris Car- Carson yeah. kind of killed him. Well, that was that was yeah, and man, then, that was some dirty. That was some dirty stuff. Wow, by the trying yeah. to twist his knee like that on the ground. Come on, bro. Stupid. Come on, man. Yeah. So and then DJ Moore, he should have been more involved. Two receptions for sixty five. Getting a little Come afraid on. for DJ Moore, man. That Robbie too. Anderson is starting to look like the one. Yeah, I'm not start. He look. He is so far been the one, but I think it it could sustain to the season. The Cooper Cup showed up for you, Joe, but the rest, you know, your other side of the receiving core just didn't want to come out to play. Josh Allen's still doing work for him. I think he'll be fine. So yeah, you're gonna be good. And then the Doctor James. I don't know what which doctor practices you're doing, but for someone that thinks his <laughs> ship is sinking because of no Saquon, undefeated's okay. Yeah, so we're gonna throw this to Ryan. I think he's kind of over the pity party for, Joe, oh. for Tim James. Yeah, dude, you're, just, you're a doctor through and through. You're just like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a 99.3 in my test. Uh, I'm going to have a bad morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Like, dude, you're fine. Just trust your trust your judgment calls. And- yeah, because that Devontae uh, Freeman judgment call went real well. <laughs> yeah, well you Didn't he have like five yards or something? Dak, Kelsey, who First else? Game, he'll missing? be fine. Like, he... He's got a team to help carry. My downward slide has begun. <laughs> and I quote, "You're just looking for, you know, some help when it comes to, I don't know, running back a little bit. But I think you're sitting okay doing the waiver wire walk at running back. But Calvin Ridley, Juju showed up as well. You're gonna be fine. You just have a weak running back core." And then the Reverend, the Reverend at number one. Wow, this doesn't surprise I actually, me. I, I thought won- his draft was. Real I've good. wanted to see yeah. this because I know you used to play fantasy. The way this started was you and David in a yeah. league with strangers, I used to win, right? I used to win championships every year until I invited all you buffoons into my league. Buffoons, you, yeah, you had to get some pros in there. Uh, but you I know, s- Daniel listened to me and other people. 
about starting Gardner Minshew in Minshew. I like turtles. I like turtles, and I'm so sorry you got single digits <laughs> from Minshew. <laughs> but to my Daniel. defense, there was like Matthew Barry was out there, our boy Jake out there apologizing afterwards because it only made sense to start the guy against the Dolphins and losing your best wide out and your left tackle for accidentally shoving the ref can do a lot of damage. You laugh at it beforehand, but you know it really is true. The Dolphins, they suck, but when it's prime time... <laughs> I mean, at least when since the, I've been the odds a fan. against them, man. They just are yeah. like, we got nothing to lose here. Let's go out there and go there for was, go for it on fourth down every time. There was no <laughs> way of predicting that, but apparently it's a thing. And it wasn't a great week for David, but he 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 was able to squeak it out. Um, I think a lot because the Minshew didn't show up for Daniel. Yeah. But Kyler Murray, I mean, the guy averages about twenty when he comes like he's first every week. So. He helped out a ton. Zeke is a stalwart. He's going to do his thing. But, you know, Robert Woods showed up finally. And uh, when you have a Colts defense that gets you 25 and a kicker that gets you 12. From the guy that didn't want to have defenses, right? That's how it goes. I wanted to get rid of kickers and defenses, <laughs> but defenses can sometimes be the saving grace. Yep. So uh, I mean, while we're live on the podcast here, yes. I just noticed, do you guys see that Andy has a logo that he has custom made that says Soul like Juice? Morgan? <laughs> what? Wanna, look at this. I want to look it up. <laughs> That's a baller move. <laughs> that is a baller move. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, go check it out. Anybody in our league, um, Soul Juice. My voice just cracked there because I'm uh, <laughs> so excited. Soul Juice. Oh my goodness! I'm at I, I work as, on the phones, and sometimes if my voice starts cracking at like ten in the morning, I'm like, oh no, it's, it's gonna, gonna keep happening. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come to a master's degree? All right, so <laughs> that's our week three rankings. I, I think before we close out this episode, we have to talk about the just the craziness of trade offers and trade drama in our league. Commission, you know all the trade drama. Yeah, I've been in, involved with these trades. So I traded for Deshaun Watson. Um, traded away two Broncos, Fant and uh, Judy. So far, kind of so good. Watson didn't explode, but he played the Steelers. So I'm, I'm feeling okay about that. Tim was a little butt hurt. He wanted to, me to uh, <laughs> trade for Cam Newton. Was looking for Robinson or Montgomery, but I just I didn't want to give up that running back depth. Um, what was the other? Tra- oh, actually, Tim Tim made a pretty good trade with uh, Leroy's. So far, at least, he's well, won that Singletary, trade. Singletary, what did he give away? He gave away Corey Davis. Corey Davis. Corey Davis kind of showed up on this past and Sunday. Then the one that I kind of slipped in there that, you know, aforementioned soul juice, I may have prayed a little bit on the homerism. I mean, I know he's a rookie. He, there's nobody else left to throw into in that Broncos offense, but I picked up K.J. Hambler. Um, I, I did have intentions of keeping him as kind of a... A stash Yeah, guy. stash to see what happens. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I can't start Sean Watson this week so i'll pick up matthew stafford and he will get one more point than deshaun watson and two less points than i need (laughs) so yeah but then like the crazy three team trade offers we see in our league i think you and i have also received like uh complaints about trade offers about guys trying to uh low ball some guys being too high on their own players like there was a lot of drama yeah my my overall thought is keep it up guys it's awesome the fact that we can get this trade thing rolling that's what i want like that's what make these leagues real fun i mean we have a lot of fun in the chat but it just seems like we've had some people that just kind of stay in their ways and won't trade yeah and we're starting to see a little bit of that crack open and i i like the trades i love how we're just like individually texting each other too outside of it guys are like hey do you have so-and-so's number do you have so-and-so's number like yeah and then Legit the opinions, going into I always it, have yeah. my guys, I'm texting and being like, is am I stupid if I do this? Or yeah. will he think that I'm, that I'm trying to jip him if I offer this trade? I think it was the other night I'm out on a date and Sean's blowing up my phone. It's like, what are you going to talk about? I call him back later, <laughs> think it's like an emergency thing. It's like, oh, no, I needed um, some trade It advice. was an emergency. In I fantasy. Needed, I needed to know. <laughs> I was like, oh, my bad, bro. I'll pick up next time. <laughs> and then last little shout out here to Morgan um, so we can keep continuing going back to my terrible loss. Okay. It was bittersweet for him. I was on the phone with him when it came down to the wire. Um, he didn't have, he wasn't able to watch the game. So I literally had red zone on my phone while I was on the phone with him. And it was his Cardinals oh. at the end of the game. <laughs> and he's telling me, oh, you know, you're going to you're gonna beat me. You got Matthew Stafford, and you only need two more points. And I'm like, dude, they're in field goal range. All they're going to have to do is kick this field goal. Your Cardinals are going to lose, and you're going to win. And that's exactly what happened. He was praying that, you know, <laughs> Matt Prater misses that kick just for his Cardinals' sake. Overtime was the only thing that was going to save me. I mean, 
I would say there's probably about a 75% chance I won that game if it goes into overtime. He had Drake as well, but as far as overtime goes, I give the edge to the quarterback by at least a point or two. Yeah. Yeah, but, by far. All right, so... As we learned. You know <laughs> signing off here, our nine other counterparts that definitely listen to this episode. Get on Instagram, follow us. Get on Twitter, follow us throughout the math, weekend. Chris. I know, really quick. <laughs> but we're on Instagram TV for our main podcast. So go there, give it a quick watch, give it some likes, share it within your stories. If you have no clue what I just said, but you have an Instagram account, talk to me. All righty. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces, Tim. We'll see you next week. Where are you? I'm in a glass case of emotion.